Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to AVX Live. I'm Joe Gilderson, President of Corporate Audio Visual Services. And once again, I'm joined by my co-host, Mr. Ryan Finch. Hiya. I was totally going to bail on you today. And then I didn't. I know. And yet here you are. Who knew? In the well, in the pixels. High level. I mean, right there. let's be clear. I was prepared to go on without you. <laughs> It's true. And then you guilted me into joining. I, I wanted not, to be here. I wanted to be here. I don't even know if I asked you to be here. No, I don't think you did. All right. I just I, I could I could hear your tone. Either way, it is a pleasure to have you. I mean, your co-host of the world famous, internationally renowned AVX Live. That's true. We did have comments from uh, Ireland, uh, at least one of these episodes. So, at least one. The reach. It's pretty good. Okay. Yep. Well, listen, Ryan, why don't you, before we get into our tips on how to transform some spaces, why don't you tell people how they can find us? Okay, you can find us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube Live. You can do that every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And while you're there, you should drop us a comment, be part of the show, ask a question, we'll answer it live. Uh, and you can also like, comment, share, subscribe, all the above while you're there. Much appreciated. And if you miss the show, you can find all of our videos, all of our many episodes on YouTube as a video discography. Oof. Boom. And uh, of course, some bite-sized pieces on Facebook and on Instagram. Man, you are really good at this. That's I feel like I'm good at it. So. I almost think that you Glad don't you need agree. me at all. <laughs> this is perfect. I had big plans. And guess what? The music's coming back. Yeah, no way, man. No way. By the way, this song is called Feeding the Ducks. It's terrible. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. All right. Music's out. Sorry. I'm okay. Nervous. Off the rails. Let's bring it on back. So listen, today we're going to talk a little bit about transforming spaces. We just have some some tips and ideas. We're in the middle of uh, of our season. We got, you know, eight weeks of, of fun and sun and, uh, you know, running around. So we have some recent events that kind of brought this about. We said, hey, this would be kind of good to showcase. So we have lots of visuals today. Let's visuals. just make sure that we are queued up on visuals and it looks like we are. So right. now we are. Yeah. With gymnasiums, because we've had a few events that have been in gymnasiums. Gym, uh, gymnasiums. So Ooh. let's uh, let's bring in some gymnasiums as the... Uh, Cell phone is ringing here. All right. So here's an example of a gymnasium. Wow. I know. Stunning, right? <laughs> it is. Yeah. It looks like a gymnasium. I know. All right. Well, what if we did some stuff to it? I don't know. Like put in some lights, some videos, some sound. Mm. Looks a little bit better. It certainly does. Oh. Sorry, I just want to make it bigger for a second. Wow. We just moved. That was I'm touching stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Well, that's pretty yeah. cool. So, so Joe, what, uh, what, what in your eyes transforms this space? What made it look so different? Well, it's not the tables and chairs. I'll tell you that. Well, hold, 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 hold on. That's that's a little that is, insulting. That insulting in, in decor. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The tables and chairs do make it look different. However, I think it's the lighting in the video. I'm sorry. I'm saying it. You might be a little bit biased. Couldn't imagine why. All right. Well, let's try to pick. Maybe another gymnasium. Maybe another one looks totally different. Let's see what we got. Hey, that's, I've seen that one. That's a gymnasium. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's a nice gymnasium. No question. Basketball court. Yep. I mean, we're on an upper board. deck. You know, like we're, we got a track running around the top. It's the a track nice, level. It's a nice gymnasium. No, it is actually a very nice gymnasium. What if we did that to it, though? That's a better yeah. looking gymnasium. That is a better looking gymnasium. Uh, I think we actually have some motion Ooh. involved in this one. Well, and take it away. How about some motion? There we go. There's also a major performance involved in this. Um, so, yeah, clearly uh, doesn't feel like a gymnasium anymore. No, I mean, honestly, that looks pretty awesome. <laughs> and I know, I know I'm biased, but uh, that just looks significantly better. Yeah, and, and in this case, uh, you know, there was a kind of a night 
a night theme, like an evening night theme. Um, you know, in, in my eyes, transforming spaces, you know, uh, like you said it yourself, lights and video. Um, in this case, I think leaned in a little bit more to the lighting um, and, and also to decor in this case, because the decor kind of fit with the elements. And obviously this, you know, the decor wasn't, wasn't our work, but it all had to work together in a shared vision. And, and in this case, some twinkling star, they literally were twinkling, which I thought looked really cool. And then we had some, some patterns and some motion, some star patterns on the floor there and, you know, and all, all working together. And, you know, again, you, you walked into that room and it, you would not have, you would not have felt like you were in a gym anymore. Which I think was the goal. It was the goal. Transformed. Boom. Transformed. Wow. Transformed. Well, it, it looked pretty cool. Great client. Love working with them. Let's um, let's see if we got another one lined up here. Hey, that's another gymnasium. Looks like a basketball court. It does look like a basketball court. Uh, Finch, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I played high school basketball. Uh, <laughs> I Just didn't saying. know that. I know you played basketball. I've seen you fall. Uh, I like to call it tumbling tumbling okay i've seen you tumble and it was very graceful looked like you tumbled before i i have definitely taken a few tumbles <laughs> no question about that <laughs> anyways these are our friends over at nyu we got a typical nice shiny cord over there let's see what we can do to this one all right oh we totally have video of this one too <sighs> we we do have video of it yes i did not uh i didn't get that going in time either way Beautiful. this one was a winter holiday party Hey, one, one thing that we didn't talk about as far yeah. as transforming spaces, right? Sound, I'm sorry, lighting, video, sound, obviously. Pipe and drape. Very simple, like masking, you know? Uh, I mean, we had it in the in the last example, too. It's, it's a very simple way to cover up that, you know, everybody thinks of like the blue foam padding on the walls. Mm. And there's not a whole lot to do with that except cover it up. And now you have a, a blank canvas and you can light it and... You know, you got some up lighting going on here and some pin spots, uh, uh, or should I say like pin pricks of light? There we go. Like, like little stars. Yeah. Oh, no, nice. you're, you're, you're hundred percent right. And of course, remember gymnasiums not really designed well for sound. Uh, all of the drapery and the soft fabric really helps <laughs> make it sound better. If there's going to be any point. sort of speeches or anything. It's a great point. But uh, yeah, another another thing, you know, another gymnasium transformed. Of course, you just can't hide those basketball nets floating around up top there. It, it is kind of funny that that's the one thing that, uh, you know, not not a whole lot. To, well, you still are in a gym. All right. Like you're transforming the space, but it's still a gym. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no hiding that one, unfortunately. <laughs> no, no. But, uh, no, but the, those patterns, the the colors, I mean, like that, obviously that jumps out at you before before anything else does. Yeah, no, no, it's all it's all good stuff. And you know, it look, we're trying to utilize the spaces that the clients have that can certainly hold a large amount of people, right? They have these spaces already. Right. They're saying, hey, how do we how can we use the space? How can we turn this? We have full control over when it can be set up right. and what goes on here. Right. So, you know, there's a lot of pluses, but there's a lot of challenges. And uh well, that's a that's a good that's point key. too. I mean, you know, how how many event spaces can you hold this many people and you have free range to it as long as you want it, right? And you know, there there's certainly some challenges that, you know, like you said that go along with that, but you know, there are groups that are like come in a day before, two days before, three days before, we don't care. Just, you know, whenever you tell us you need to start setting up is when you can start setting up. Anywhere else and your costs are doubling, tripling, you know, so on and so forth. So ups and downs, right? To every space, there's ups and downs. Well, let's let's leave the gymnasium oh, and uh, okay. see. Let's head outside for a little bit. Let's see what we got outside over here. Outdoors. So we have an outdoor patio space. This happens to be at our friends down at the New York Botanical Garden. It's the Stone Mill. And uh, you can see why they would call it the Stone Mill. Oh, I just got it. Yes, Finch, yes. No, I'm just I mean... Kidding. He's never seen this picture because, again, I didn't invite him to the show today. But. That's true. I was not, I was not invited. <laughs> but, uh, but so this is a patio, very popular for weddings and cocktail parties and outdoor events. So what can you do with this patio? All right. Well, how about at nighttime? Turn the what lights out. Oh, sorry. Wait. The sun went down. Sorry. The sun went down. Man, you're good, Finch. You're really good. I know. Now, in this particular case, the uh, 
again, lighting kind of takes center stage on this one, pun intended. And um, you see what I did. I did. That was good. Oh, yeah. What is that? It was, you know, a little oh. over-exaggerated. But uh, because the the mill itself, of course, is has got the stone material, it lends very well for lighting. It gives it mm. already dimension and the lights really, they actually go up the building. We added color to it. It, uh, it, it really worked out well. Um, oh, architectural lighting. You are hundred percent right, Finch. And look, you can even light up trees and stuff. <laughs> you can... <laughs> it's very high level. <laughs> light up trees and stuff. That's uh, all good. All right. So that's go. some that's bistro a lighting. That's great. Oh, very nice. Yeah, bistro lights there. Hey, I mean, we had some aerial yeah. footage of this, and you're not showing that I, either. No, I didn't bring that one up today. We're gonna, that's we're going to cover that on another day. What about okay. tents, Finch? What about tents? Tents, also outdoors. Uh, lots of reflective surface. Something to consider. It takes light very well. I mean, think of that whole entire ceiling as being almost like a giant screen. It's Ooh. like a canvas and we dip wow. our paintbrushes in our technology paint. And all right, that's enough. Okay. Okay. Watch where you dip that brush. Finch. <laughs> uh, okay. You're getting married this weekend, pal. I don't have any problems. I can boot you off the show. I feel <laughs> a, an obligation <laughs> to <laughs> listen here. I'm color commentary. All right. So let's go. What are we doing with this tent? Wow. There you go. Yeah. Paint We're gonna light it. Up. We're going to dance under the stars. You put your paint brush in a, paint bucket artists at work oh yeah yeah artists at work that that band show looks awesome too it, that's that's it's a really nice space it, it is a really nice space and the uh, funny thing is we've worked this place for you know 25 years and uh i don't know we, we never worked that much outside in the band show with this giant tent so hmm. it was uh it was really nice actually it worked out great you know and uh, of Ooh. course with all the different lighting you can change colors you can change the feeling so we went from basically a program feel to kind of like a, a party feel just by changing a few colors. You know? That's actually a, that's a, a good tip in and of itself. We're talking about tips here. Um, lighting is the type of thing that, you know, if, if we're set up a certain way, we can literally change the entire energy of the room with like one finger. So something wow. to consider is that you don't necessarily need to have the same look throughout the night as you can have, you know, just like Joe said, you can have multiple uh, looks. If there's a, a big moment, a highlight in the evening, it can look really very different, um, you know, than say a performance or say the rest of the program or an auction, um, you know, so light, lighting is, is very malleable. We can do a lot with it. And, and you know, that that includes doing things mid program. Excellent point. You know, one thing that I think people forget about when we're talking about these outside events, I'm just going to go back a couple here. Um, it gets pretty dark. Yeah. So even though you don't, you, there may be lights in the building, the outside of the building, those are for security. Those aren't really for like people talking to each other and guests. And another place that can get really dark, a tent. Yeah. So just, I think everybody forgets about that part. In this particular, you don't see any chandeliers. You don't see that additional lighting. And that, that's partly what we're trying to do is we could then not only give it texture and give it pattern and give it some sort of decor, but we actually could literally give it more light, you know, so that people could actually see each other and, and speak to each other and communicate well. So just other things to consider because these are tips I think that get forgotten about in tents. So if you're renting a tent, make sure that there's lighting for the tent. Hmm. Sidebar. Sidebar. Util wasn't. Utility lighting. There wasn't in this one. So. No. <laughs> Headlamps. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, all right, let's 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 continue on. Let's look at maybe a traditional space and think about could we do something different in that? Rectangle. This is your... This is your rectangular ballroom right there. Now I gotta say, nothing to scoff at here. As far as no. like ease of you know doing something, it doesn't really get any simpler than working in a in a big rectangle. And and you can do a lot with it. So there's you know it's it's not a uh, it's not a letdown by any means, but but a lot different than a tent 
or a gymnasium or a you know i don't know chapel or you know wherever else we've been to uh as of late oh, i actually have a great picture of a of a chapel that is now a hotel but that's a different story. Uh, i think i know what you're talking about yeah it looks really cool actually so now this particular space very popular um you can see that they actually have their own lighting and it does look great they've invested a lot into the space so besides their food being excellent it is a very nice space. They're also right on, on the water in Long Island Sound in this particular case. This is down at Glen Island uh, Harbor Club and used to be Casino Club or Harbor Club. Yep. I don't know. Harbor Club it is now. Yep. But um, I think back in the days, there was actually a casino there. It was. Yeah. It's long before my time. Before my time too, but I've heard about it. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. I'm glad we established that. Um, but this is a, a very typical kind of uh, setup for most ballrooms you'd see. So we recently did two different events there in the course of a week. Let's look at, uh, you know, some different variables you can add. So this particular case, we covered up a wall, we put up some drape, we have some lighting. Uh, what's good about this particular picture is we have a TV movie star as our host. And you can see the only other person standing is our own Maurice Johnson. So, oh, that's Mo. I thought yes. that was the bartender. I, I know. I told him, maybe you shouldn't stand at the bar. <laughs> Just gives the wrong impression. However, bars were closed. Maurice was okay. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, that's good. It's good to see him taking front and center. Um, either way, it, you know, this is kind of a, a simple transformation just by adding some fabric and some lighting. But he is now stage lit or camera because we had screens in the corner. Let's look at a totally different setup. It's same space again. Dang. And now we're, we're adding a totally different look. And this is, uh, this is one rendering that was done by our creative technology director, Mr. Ryan Finch. Wow. Yeah. That's, I mean, this isn't the rendering. I'm not that good. No. But I did do a rendering that looked very similar to this in digital form. And I feel good about that. So. So there you have it. Well, this is this is interesting because we have uh, we have some some different stage elements involved here. Uh, would namely, you like to discuss uh, them? I would like to discuss them. Tell me about the truss take it away. and lighting. But no, no, it's your I, job. No, this is your you're event. taking it away, dude. No, dude. no, I'm not doing it. Oh, because you're doing something else. I can see what you're doing over there. No. All right. Not... So uh, all right, hold so on, Finch, some... Hold on. I got something. Right, cut else. me off. Can I? I don't know how to bring this up, but I'm going to try to bring this up. This could go oh. terribly wrong. Just here it let's comes. be clear. Could go really, really wrong. Let's we're gonna give it a shot anyways, because we don't care here. We're like we're, we're doing it magic live. Happen. Oh. All right, and oh, look at this okay. guy. Okay. So that was the rendering done by Mr. Ryan Finch. I gotta say the real thing looks better. <laughs> well, we did change the color, but yeah, you changed the colors, but now well, the real thing looks good, better. man. Look at that. Oh, well, that's, you know. That's a drawing, and where'd the other guy go? Hey, there we go. Well, and look, hey. not for nothing, but that does two things, right? Number one is it gives the client an idea of what this is, you know, what is their money doing in this case? Like, what does it actually look like? Does it look different? Is it going to make people excited? And in almost every case, it's going to look even better than that. So, you know, if they're happy with the rendering, then just wait till you see the real thing. Um, number two is it actually tells our team exactly what we've promised. <laughs> Like here, make it look like this. And then they do. And that's a good thing. That's a, you know, it's a it's really a good plan good. to go in with. But no, you got the you got the front facing lighting, which, you know, it, it's reminiscent of like performance, um, you know, maintaining a lot of energy at the stage. We got the uh, screens up on truss as well, which means we can get them a little bit higher and, you know, fit with the uh, the truss on stage. A little bit of, uh, you know, a common thread there. And then, Joe, tell me about that. Uh, the drape. In the background, there's something going on there. Yeah, we have a little uh, starlight twinkle drape from our friends at Rose Brand. We brought in for that one. It was um, it, it was kind of like the perfect fit for the theme of what we we're trying to do. This was an award show, and they wanted to really give it kind of a grand effect. Uh, I got to tell you, on camera, it looked really nice, too. There was kind of just like little highlights behind them, yeah. so it looked like they were sparkling a little as well. But um, I like to sparkle myself. I have heard that. 
So, you know. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> Anyways, there are some awards over in the corner. We had some friends that actually won awards that day. Uh, one of them is going to be coming on our show June 7th. And her name is Jennifer Flowers, who won the Chairman of the Board Award and is now a member of the Business Council of Westchester's Hall of Fame. So you'll be seeing and hearing her Wednesday, 1 p.m., June 7th, mm. Jennifer Flowers, accreditation guru. Oh. You didn't even know that was going to happen. I didn't know that was going to happen. Joe, are you a guru in anything? No. Moving on. I am not. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would we're agree. Gonna take, we're going to take this part out. But a um, little side joke there for Mr. Finch. But, uh, but you know, we're talking about transforming spaces. And, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Are, are you done now? Thank nope. You. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're feeding ducks again. Here we go. <laughs> We're talking about transforming spaces. You know, you just yeah. have to have a little bit of creativity. You want to work with your partners, whoever they are, whether it's decoration, it's catering, it's audiovisual production, it's lighting. You want to work with your partners because they all have some ideas on how to make that happen. And uh, hopefully some of these tips were helpful today. As well as Mr. Finch being on the show, just being his entertaining self. I like to think I add a little special something. Right. What else we got? Uh, look, no, we're not doing this. We're, we're not doing this live. Come on, end it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap up our show early today because Ryan is a very busy boy. I am a busy boy, so we don't want to tie everybody up all day. But thank you. We'll have more tips coming up next week. We're gonna have a spectacular guest to be named later. But okay. uh, everybody, have a great week, Mr. Finch. Tell them how they can find us next Wednesday. You can find us next Wednesday on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube live. And you can do that next week as well as every week, Wednesdays at one o'clock. Uh, while you're there, you can like, comment, share, subscribe, and also drop us a comment. Be part of the show. I went out of order there. Just screw you up. Uh, you can find all of our videos, all of our past episodes on our YouTube channel. And of course, if you miss the show, you can find little bite-sized pieces on Facebook and on Instagram for some quick Bites. Shark that bites. Was fantastic. We just saw Andrew as well last week. Andrew, our shark bite friend. But uh, listen, everybody. Andrew has gonna... been a common theme in the show for like for like two years straight now. That's pretty we... that's pretty good. He was on in the very beginning, you know. He was. That's right. And so he's uh, he's like an OG for AVX Live. <laughs> All right, time to wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Listen, thank you very much. We're gonna see you next time. And, uh, you know, take, take a look at our transformative tips and ideas. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Mr. Finch, wrap this up. Uh, I forgot what my catchphrase is. So Get long. Bye-bye. Goodbye.